Hi developers, I am Stefan Bertosz and in this video I will give you some recommendations about five programming books you should read. What I observed is that uh, average junior developer is sometimes lacking the theoretical knowledge in various important areas which are not that often mentioned on boot camps, tutorials or even on the real projects. But let's say the truth as well seniors. So what are the five important areas? First one, algorithms or algorithmization. Second one, design patterns. Third one, enterprise integration patterns. Fourth one, API design patterns. And the fifth, best approaches for software development. I will recommend for each of this area uh, one book for self-study. From my point of view, programmers, developers should not copy-paste from Stack Overflow or whatever websites, but you should know what you are doing, not blindly, not blindly copy-pasting or using frameworks just because others do. And if you are a self-taught programmer or junior, it's good to maybe increase your knowledge also in theoretical areas which I mentioned. Knowledge is your unique asset and by having knowledge about the topic, you will start uh, to understand the connections between the technologies. You would maybe start understand the what, why, terms and you can start arguing bad solutions other, devel other developers or architects propose or design or code. So let's jump to the topic and let's introduce the first book which is Introduction to Algorithms. I didn't read this book uh, because I learned this at a secondary school or later at the university but the book looks great and I would really recommend to read this. Um, let's uh, just skim through the chapters and from the chapter it, the book is uh, basically uh, building some foundations of the algorithms then it starts with the sorting very popular topic yeah. I remember then the data structures again very very useful thing to know then again about some programming topics advanced data structures graphs very popular as well and some other topics which could be interesting for for your programming experience so that's it for the first one. The second book um, is continuing on, on the similar pathway and it's about the design patterns. This book is pretty old, yeah, but it doesn't matter as the principle still applies. And this design pattern elements of reusable object oriented software is uh, really about all the standard design patterns example everybody should know singleton then other other very heavily used uh, patterns like uh, facade proxy and so on yeah there are plenty of them so it would be very good if you would know at least by the name the design patterns because a lot of frameworks which we use under the hood are using those patterns you even not notice let's jump to the third one third one is again about the patterns but in this case enterprise integration patterns this is a book uh, handy for the guys who want to design some integration applications and this book basically uh, explains what are the pattern names, how to design, uh, 
well-designed uh, messaging application and the integration between them. So again, design patterns, but in in focus for the messaging solutions. And the fourth one is for the API design patterns. Because usually, usually we are also as a developers building some APIs, either internal or external ones. So it would be good to know how to build the API properly, what are the design patterns there, and what is the, for example, how you should name, how you should uh, version the API and stuff like this. Yeah, a lot of important stuff which you should know how to properly design the APIs. And let's go to the last one, which is a prag the Pragmatic Programmer. It's also an older book. Old doesn't mean bad in this case because this brings some knowledge uh, in, uh, I think, in the general topics which uh, should the programmer or developer take care about, yeah, for example, um, usage of some tools, um, for example, bits and pieces of the security, and another and another things which I don't want to go into the details, read the book up to you. So now uh, let's speak about the important stuff like how do I get these books? Obviously you can buy one. I usually buy a paperback, yeah, because I like to read it from from the paper. Um, so you can usually, you can buy one, or buy used, or buy ebook yeah, and read it on a tablet. Or other options are you can join some kind of a subscriptions like O'Reilly. O'Reilly has a subscription, or similar subscription where you, for some amount of money, will get uh, access to a lot of books. Or you can check if your company doesn't have some portal where um, where you have these books for free or you can check your local library in the company if those books are not already there or you can go to uh, your town's local library or if that doesn't apply you can uh, for example buy books from uh, company benefits or you can ask your boss if you can buy the book and then being paid back by the company or you can uh, uh, put it as a training material yeah, or something like that. If you think um, that the books are that, there are other options. What you can do? So for example, watching tutorial in learning portals like Pluralsight, Udemy, Skillsoft or whatever else or watching YouTube videos uh, on the topic like this. And that's not the end yet. I have a bonus for you. A bonus is a recommendation for the non-programming books. Those books are from my reading list. I buy the books on the Czech online bookstore, but you can get the same uh, from the Amazon. So I will share both links. All three books are meant for inspiration and I will not speak about the content but you can find it yourself on the internet so I will just leave the links and that's all folks so feel free to leave comment please subscribe click on the bell to not miss any of the upcoming videos and of course click on the like button enjoy reading books